welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Lululemon haul. I have a ton of items. I asked on Instagram what you wanted to see and most of you wanted to see tank tops and skirts. I am waiting on the last package of my order to get delivered. I was hoping it is supposed to get delivered today, but it's not here yet. So I will probably just add in little clips from recording on my iPhone and add those in. I know one of the skirts is in there, possibly two tank tops. But without further ado, we're gonna get right on into it. All of my sizes and these items will be listed in link down below per usual. Thank you, Lululemon, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into it. First item up is the only bra in this entire haul. I told you most of you wanted to see tank tops, so that's what I purchased. But a lot of you did wanna see this. This is the Align Sweetheart Bra. It's a light support intended for A to B cups. Because it is part of the Align collection, it is that Nulu material, which is very buttery soft. Low compression, great for yoga or just like day to day. Obviously low support, like it says, and it is a little bit lower cut than I thought it was gonna be. If you've tried their high neck bra that has the double straps, these straps sit out just as far as that bra. One of them does kind of roll on me a little bit. The other side doesn't. I think it's so weird. It must just be something with my build <laughs> or my shoulder blades maybe. They are a little bit uneven. Maybe that's why, but it still fits me well. I do have broad shoulders though, so I just wanna put that out there. If you're someone who has more narrow shoulders, I don't think this would fit you very well. I think it would just not be comfortable on you. But I got my size six, which is my true size. Fit me really well. Obviously a very basic bra. I love the scoop in the back. And this little sweetheart cut up here is really nice. I am not typically a fan of long line bras just because of my proportions. I feel like it hits me kind of weird on my torso, but this is a long line bra. It does have the built-in padding. You can remove that if you want. I always keep that in there. Overall, very comfortable, fit true to size. The only thing I didn't love about it was how wide the straps are. And I personally would have preferred just like a little bit of a shorter, band at the bottom. That's just me. I know a lot of people like the long line bras. Moving on to tank tops. We have a lot of them to get through. This is the only like fully cropped tank top that's included in here. It is the ribbed soft stream cropped tank top in the color flush pink. I love all of the summer spring colors they've had so far. They're beautiful. This flush pink I think is gorgeous as well. The Maldives green that I showed in the last item. I have that in like every single color. The Maldives green and the Kelly green are so similar. I compared them on my Instagram. If I can, I'll compare that on the screen so you can see. But the colors are just beautiful. So, love this, color's great. All of the soft stream items are also very comfortable. The rib soft stream items tend to be a little bit thicker, a little bit warmer. Um, still something you can wear in the summer, obviously, especially a tank top, but any of the rib soft stream bottoms, the only time I really wear them when it's warmer outside is in the evenings or in the mornings. I definitely wouldn't be wearing them around day to day. They would be great for the fall. It is just a little bit thicker, but all of the soft stream items have that peach fuzz feel to them. It's kind of hard to see, but if you've ever had a peach before, it has that like kind of fuzzy feeling to it. I did stick with my true size, the six fit well. I will say, and this is kind of across the board for all of the soft stream items. If you are between sizes or you just don't like items to fit more snug, I would probably recommend going up. I think I could have very easily done a size eight in this. It would have just given me a little bit more room around my waist and I still think it would have fit really well. But overall, fit true to size. I love the V-cut in the back. It reminds me a lot of the Power Pivot tank top. I feel like it has the exact same design, just different material. I like that they have the ribbed texture going different ways, so it's going up and down on the front and then going horizontally on the side. So it doesn't have a built-in bra, so you do have to pair it over a bra if you don't wanna be nipping out of stuff. I just paired it over the Free To Be Wild it's what I have on underneath here right now as well. And I thought that looked really cute because you get to see the strappy back on this open back portion. Next tank top up, I think this is one of my favorite items from this haul. I was really excited to try it because if you watched my videos last year in the summer, you know I love the modal silk tank top. In particular, if you're pregnant, that was the most comfortable tank top. It has like a slit in the back, so it opens up. It covered the bump perfectly. I loved it, but it's also great if you're not pregnant or pregnant or postpartum. It's 
great all the time, but the material is just so soft. This is that same fabric, the modal silk. It is the shoulder cutout yoga tank top in dark lavender. Once again, if you watched any of my other try-ons recently, you know I love the dark lavender color. It pairs beautifully with a lilac smoke. I think this is pastel blue. This is from last year, I'm not sure, but you can see it pairs really well with the blues. Any of the pastels, I think it just looks really good. But when I pulled this out of the bag, I was like, I am confused. It doesn't look like it's gonna provide much coverage at all. It doesn't have a built-in bra or anything, so you have to wear a sports bra under it, obviously. And I just, I was like, is it gonna like show my whole boob on the other side? It doesn't. I think it's so cute and it is so comfortable. It is a slim fit and a waist length, so it's a little bit longer. You're not seeing any of your tummy when you're pairing it with high-waisted items. It might still give you enough coverage with mid-rise items depending on your torso length. I think if I was wearing mid-rise when I would raise my arms, it would still show. So I will probably always wear this with high-rise, but I think it's so cute. I got my true size six fit very well. They have it in four different colors, including some more neutral colors if you're in to that but I just think it's really unique and I'm telling you if you haven't tried any of the modal silk items you're missing out moving on to more of the training tank tops I haven't reviewed these in a very long time I don't think since I did the running haul I'm not a runner and I'm also not someone who typically trains in tank tops I normally just wear a sports bra high-waisted shorts high-waisted leggings call it a day but a lot of you wanted to see tank tops. So here we are. This is the train to be tank top in color cyan blue. I think I'm saying that right. Obviously it has the ventilated holes. It has that seamless fit to it. So it reminds me a lot of a Swiftly. If you've tried any of their Swiftly's, fits like that, kind of like the relaxed ones. But obviously this has the ventilated holes in there all along the arms and then down the sides. So where you typically tend to sweat a lot. It's gonna be very breathable. I liked that this was a relaxed fit. I got my size six, fit very well. If you want a tighter tank top that has the same like feel to it and same breathability, great for training, I would recommend their Swiftly's. Those run more of like a slim fit. They do have relaxed fit in those, like I said. This is definitely most similar to a Swiftly relaxed fit tank top. Uh, so if you've tried that, and like it, you would love this as well. But fits very true to size. I definitely wouldn't go up. I also, I mean, you could go down if you wanted it to fit tighter, but if you're gonna do that, I would just recommend getting a Swiftly. But I thought this was really nice. And once again, if you're pairing it with high rise items, you have full coverage. So if you don't want your tummy showing, this is a great tank top to work out in. Next tank top up, we have the New Luxe Slim Fit tank top in the color Lilac Smoke. I already told you I loved it. It's just a little bit of a lighter version than the Dark Lavender. They pair very well together. If you have Dark Lavender shorts and do the Lilac Smoke tank top or vice versa, it looks really cute together. I love this tank top. The New Luxe material is just as thin and low compression as the Nulu material. It is just more of that silky feel, so it's really good for high impact workouts. It's gonna be super breathable, sweat wicking, and it's not gonna pill. So this is gonna be probably the lightest weight tank top option for training, running, whatever you're doing. I liked this a lot. I loved the coverage it provided. I like the little scoop it has at the bottom, and I'm always here for high neck items, clearly. This is the high neck align tank. I love it. Wasn't cutting into my lats at all. Overall, I thought it just fit really well. Definitely more of a tighter fit. I did get a size six. So if you wanted it to be a little bit looser, you could size up. I thought this fit really well though. Definitely one of my favorite tank tops, this one and the next one you're gonna see. Last tank top up, at least out of the ones I have sitting in front of me right now. Hopefully the rest of my order gets delivered today. If not, I will still try to include it in here or I'll just review it on my Closet by Kel. But this tank top is the Modal Blend High Neck Yoga Tank. As you heard me say, I love the Modal Blend. This is not the Modal Silk. It's just Modal Blend. It's not as soft as the other tank top you saw. The other one almost feels like a very thin soft stream almost. This one definitely has more of that cottony feel to it, but I love the way it fit. It is very breathable. You can see the little, well, hopefully, you can see the little mesh detailing it has down the side. It is a very basic, 
tank top. It's a hip length too. So if you're looking for full coverage, this tank top is great. Fit me very true to size, stuck with my size six. I thought it looked really cute. I am not a huge skirt person, but because so many of you wanted to see skirts and I know they've gotten very popular, I tried most of these items on with the skirt. I thought it looked pretty cute. I would probably wear them with my speed up shorts or um, track that high rise short. Those are my two favorite or align shorts. But if I'm gonna be training and wearing these, it would more be the speed up short and track that high rise short. Those are just my favorite. But if you're a skirt person, I thought all these tank tops looked really cute with them. They do have ones that have like the collar for like tennis or golf. That's not really anything that I do. I play randomly with Chris, <laughs> but definitely not like professionally or um, I'm not good enough to wear a full blown outfit, if that makes sense. I don't know. I thought these looked cute with skirts. You don't have to wear them with skirts. I would definitely be wearing them more with shorts, but I thought they fit very cute. And this one in particular, I just liked the full length of it and the overall feel is really nice. Next top up, I believe I have actually reviewed this before. I know I've reviewed this tank top, I believe last summer when they first came out and I reviewed the dress. I love these items. I think they're really cute. They're great basics. Not necessarily for working out, but just but just for athleisure, wearing around casually, I think they're really cute. This is the Classic Fit Cotton Blend T-shirt. As you heard me say, they have tank tops, they have a dress. Fits very similar. I got my true size six in the kohlrabi green. Another one of my favorites. I thought it was so cute in particular with the shorts that I paired it with. You'll see those in a second. Like we'll do a full review of those in a second, but I liked this a lot. Once again, not anything I would work out in, but it is a nice basic summer t-shirt that has like the women's fit without it being tight. I'm just not a fan of tight t-shirts because I sweat a lot and I don't like it clinging. Maybe that's just me. I thought it was really cute though. And for someone who does have broader shoulders, I still think it looked pretty feminine. So it does have the little slit on the side, which I think helps it just fall a little bit nicer. Waist length, obviously. So paired with the high-waisted bottoms you saw I was wearing, you couldn't really see any skin, which if I'm wearing casual clothes out and about, I don't really want my stomach showing. So loved this. Last top up that I have to review, I actually got this as a set. Along with the tank tops and skirts, they've had a lot of soft stream items recently and a lot of you wanted me to review those as well. So this is the Rib Soft Stream Relaxed Fit T-shirt. Obviously not a workout item, but the definition of relaxing. It just looked so comfortable, so cute. Like I said before, it is heavier weight. All of the rib soft stream is a little bit thicker, a little bit more heavyweight, but I love the oversized fit of this. I like that the back is longer than the front. The slit is super cute. I liked the deep V. We'll talk about the pants in a second, but it only comes in two colors in the twilight rose and the black. I was tempted to get the black, but this twilight rose is just gorgeous. It reminds me more of a fall outfit. To be honest, I think I would wear this more in the fall anyway, not so much in the summer, just because it is a little bit thicker and I tend to run very warm. So Twilight Rose, I love. I think it's gonna be perfect for the fall and I just love the oversized fit just to be comfy, casual, lounge around the house, but still look cute if you have to go out and run errands. Stuck with my size six obviously fits very true to size. It is an oversized item. So I wouldn't go up a size by any means. If you're in between sizes and you don't want it to be too big, you could go down. I would probably just recommend staying true to size though. I thought it fit very well. Because I got the matching set, we'll just go right into the bottoms. These are the Rib Soft Stream Zip Leg High Rise Cropped Pant 25 inch. I actually am just now realizing that it says 25 inch. They felt a lot shorter than that on me. I get 25 inch leggings, but obviously a pant being 25 inch and a legging being 25 inch is gonna fit a lot different because the leggings stretch so it goes down further. I love my soft stream pants. I have the full length pants, like the sweat pants. I have shorts. You're gonna see the shorts here in a second. Those I have said in the past as well that they tend to run a little bit small in the waistband. And these I thought fit even a little bit tighter. So if you're between sizes, or you just have, like if you don't have a small waist in proportion to your hips, I would recommend going up a size. I think I could have done a size eight and they would have fit really well. I thought they fit a little bit tighter than I would have wanted them to for being like a lounge item. 
it was just a little tighter around my waist. It obviously doesn't have a draw cord or anything. So although it is stretchy, what you get is what you get. There's no making it tighter or looser. Um, so I think I would have preferred a size eight in these just to be a little bit more comfortable. It was definitely digging in on me a little bit. I did not show these unzipped, but it has a pretty big zip. So if you want it to be more of the flare, you can do that. I did think they were really cute. I thought it paired really well with the t-shirt. I would just take into consideration that they run a little bit small. And if you're like me and have a pretty proportional like waist to hip to booty area, I would probably go up a size. If you're someone who has a smaller waist, staying true to size will probably be just fine. But like I said, they just dug in on me a little bit. And I don't know about you, that's like my least favorite thing with bottoms. I don't want them to dig in. So love them, thought they were very cute. I would just go up a size personally. Sticking with the theme, but going back to our shorts, this is the last soft stream item I have to review. This is the soft stream high rise short four inch. I already have these. I got two or three pairs last year and I absolutely love them. It's not the rib soft stream. It's just the normal soft stream. So you can see a little bit more of that like peach fuzz feel it has to them. These do have a draw cord and these I think fit more true to size than those 25 inch pants but still I've never had to tighten this at all because it does fit a little bit more snug on me. I get size sixes, which is my true size, but I think I could easily do a size eight and they would be comfortable. And then if the waistband was a little bit big, I can just use the draw cord to adjust it. But I love these, very comfortable. The four inch inseam I think is very flattering and it's just a great like lounge pant. So cute, you can pair so many different things with it. They have the soft stream, perfectly oversized cropped crews. Those are really cute. They typically have the matching colors. So if you wanna do like a little matching set, love that. These are great summer shorts. Like I said, I tend to wear most of my other soft stream pants in the fall or just if I am wearing them in the summer, it's at night. I can wear these all day long and be very comfortable in them. I don't get too warm. Fit true to size, same thing though. If you're between sizes, I would probably go up just because it has the draw cord option to tighten the waistband if you need to. Last pair of shorts before we get into the skirts. I was so excited to try these. A lot of you asked me to review these as well. These are the stretch woven relaxed fit high rise short four inch in the color bone. They have these available, I believe in five colors. This is like the perfect short that you can dress up or just be very casual in, and they're gonna be really comfortable, provide enough coverage because it's at four inch, which like you just heard me say, I think it's a really flattering length. So I liked these a lot. There is no draw cord once again, so what you get is what you get. They are very stretchy, but just keep that in mind if you're someone who doesn't want anything digging in, or if you're between sizes, maybe that means go a size up. These did fit me really well. I would say they fit true to size. And then same thing, you have those big pockets again. These are nice and lightweight. I, I liked these a lot. And I like the little like paneling they have down them. From the pocket, it has the little stitch that runs all the way down. I thought they were really flattering. I thought it was very cute, paired with the cotton blend t-shirt. Very casual outfit. Or you could do, I was already thinking about this. This paired with the Align halter tank with my black little Tory Burch sandals. Very cute kind of dressy casual outfit that I could wear out and about. Chris and I could go get lunch in that. One of my favorite pairs of shorts. I also love the bone color because you get that light look without the anxiety of wearing white bottoms. You know what I'm saying? Finally, we are moving on to skirts. I have two of the three that I ordered. I have reviewed skirts in the past. I will link that video down below because typically every summer, they bring back their staple skirts and then they'll add some different skirts into the mix, but they always have just like their shorts, core skirts that they keep around. So I will try to link that video down below. First one up, we have the Court Rival High Rise Skirt. This also comes in a mid-rise, I believe. I am not a mid-rise person. I have a long torso. Mid-rise hits me at a very awkward spot and I just feel like no matter what size I get, it digs into me. So I only got high rise skirts because that's just what I am comfortable in, but they do have mid-rise options. So if you have a shorter torso, you have skirts to choose from that won't ride up too high on you. But the Court Rival High Rise Skirt, I liked this a lot. I think it's so flattering. It has the two layers. 
so it falls really well. I think it looks very feminine, very cute. And then like all of their skirts, they have the built-in shorts, so this would be great for tennis, but they have the pockets on either side. And then the thing I love the most about these shorts, they have, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that, they have the little grips on the inside, so they stay in place so well as you're moving around very comfortable. I always am a little skeptical about this waistband because it is truly just like a thick elastic band around the whole top, but it actually fit me really well. If I would have got the mid-rise one, I would not be saying that same thing because I know it would have dug in on me, but the high-rise fit me really well and the shorts under here were very comfortable. So I highly recommend this skirt. I have liked, I've tried this one in the past and I liked it a lot too but I wanted to try it again just to see if they made any changes. If they did, they're not significant enough to where I can even really notice a difference. Not that I wear skirts all the time, but I have tried this before and I did like it previously. So I stuck with my true size six. If you are familiar with their running shorts, like their tighter fitting shorts, I would go based off of that sizing because most of them, all of them, do have the built-in shorts in there. So my true size six fit me really well. I liked this one a lot. I thought it was very flattering. Cute, would be great for just wearing around, golf, tennis, running, all the activities. This next skirt up, I was so excited to try. It looked unique and very cute online. So I got it. And I just feel it looks very awkward on me. I don't know. I guess I'll let you guys be the judge of that. This is the asymmetrical layered high rise tennis skirt in the color white, obviously. The waistband on this skirt fits more like a speed up high rise short, which I love. You guys have heard me say those are one of my favorite shorts. So I like the waistband on here. It does have the optional draw cord in there if you need to tighten it. I got my true size six. It does fit. This part I just thought looked kind of weird on me. It does come up really high and although you, obviously have built-in shorts so you're not like exposed. I just thought it looked kind of weird. So I don't know. This is definitely not my favorite. This one was also, I believe, more expensive than the other one. Although I loved the idea of it, I just, I feel like this spot needed to not be as big. So maybe if it was like a little slit on the side or something, I don't know. I just thought there was a little bit too much leg showing over here. And I also, the built-in shorts were comfortable and they still have some, they still have some of those little like non-slip grips in there, but it didn't do as good of a job as the Pace Rival staying in place just because the other one had like actual dots in there. These ones lie a little bit more flat and I just didn't think it held the shorts in place as well as the other one did. So, although it's cute, I think it depends a lot on the body type and at least I'm thinking that because it looks adorable on the model. I just don't think I could pull it off. So <laughs> let me know below if you've tried this, how it fit you. Last clothing item I have to review. I do have one accessory to show you after this, but I was so excited to try this item. It's basically the romper version of the French Terry sleeveless hoodie that I have. And I love that. Not an item I thought I would like, but I have two of them now and I honestly wear them all the time. So. You learn something new about yourself, I guess. But this is the French Terry V-neck romper. If you've never tried Lululemon's dresses or rompers or just like more casual clothes, I highly recommend trying them. They always surprise me cuter than I think they're gonna be, comfier than I think they're gonna be. So I was really excited to try this one. I stuck with my size six. It is more oversized than I thought it was gonna be which is okay, I want it to be a little bit more oversized because it almost reminds me of like a pool cover up, but one that you can just kind of wear around. It does have the draw cord in here. When I tried to tighten it, I thought it looked a little bit funny just because it's it's such a thin draw cord that it. I just thought it pulled it in a little bit weird. So I left it a little bit looser. Not as cute as I thought it was going to be. I like a lot of my other rompers that I've tried from them more, but I, I do love the idea of this for like, beach cover-up, pool cover-up, and being able to go to lunch, walk around town, you know, just still being able to wear this all day long and be comfortable. And it, I thought it provided a good amount of coverage too. I like the fact that it has the pockets and it has obviously a good amount of shoulder coverage, which is nice. So wasn't my favorite. I thought I was gonna like this a little bit more than I did, 
but I'm glad I tried it. This is another item. Let me know if you tried it. I feel like you could almost go down a size if you didn't want it to be as oversized as it is, but I don't know if the four would look silly on me if I got a four. I don't know, but that's the romper. Not much to say, obviously it's just one piece of fabric, but I thought it was very comfortable. I just, the draw cord, I thought I was gonna be able to tighten it and it would kind of like bring in the waist a little bit. You can do that. I just didn't think it looked as flattering tightened as it did loose. Last but definitely not least, they came out with another canvas tote. I reviewed the last one in, I think the last Lululemon haul. I think they had a gray sage option in that one, or no, maybe it was just the navy and the black. I got the black version, but I really wanted to try the gray sage. Gray sage is one of their staple colors and it's one of my favorite just cause it's so neutral and goes with everything. I thought this bag was really cute. I like that they have the different options for how you wanna carry it. If you wanna go over the shoulder or just carry it as a tote, but obviously it is just a pretty basic bag. So you have the snap on the inside, it has this one pocket, there's no zipper or anything. So it is just like a pretty standard tote. I think between this one and the other canvas bag, I liked the other one. I'm looking at the other one right now, it's still in my office. There is side pockets on the other one and a front and back pocket. This one has no side pockets, it is just a <laughs> one big open bag. So between the two, I definitely liked the other one more. It's a little bit bigger, has more pocket space, which I just need, especially having a toddler. I'm always carrying so much stuff around with me, so having easy access to the pockets on the outside is great. Um, I, I know this is just meant to be a basic bag. I just need a little bit more, a little bit more. That's the tote. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram. Once again, I'll have everything listed and linked down below. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.